She stands five feet and seven inches barefoot and exudes a certain aura from within her that makes people look her way. If she looks back at you, her smile could be so arresting. But it's not that that we are so enamored with her at the moment because she's got one of the interesting resumes here in the pageant. Apart from becoming a beauty queen, beauty queen she's also a mom and a wife. So, nakikilala niyo na ba kung sino tong i-interviewin ko? So, here she is. Without further ado, please say hello to Miss Universe Philippines 2024 contestant from Pasig City, Miss Selena Antonio Reyes! Hi! Hi! Thank you for having me! Finally, finally, I was able to have yes, you on my yes. show. Thank you Thank for you. giving the time and effort in gracing my interview. Of course, interview. ko pa ba? <laughs> <laughs> Oo, oh, kasi we... I kind of know her already, guys, mm -hmm. because uh, I covered a century two na super buds before. Uh -uh. And that's where I met you, yes, diba? Uh -uh. Grabe. 2022. Oh, 2022, yes, yeah. Uh -uh. And I'm here again. Oh, oh, nagulat kami. Actually, when the age limit was removed, mm -hmm. hindi ko naman inisap na sa sali ka. Uh -huh. Although we're friends on Facebook, mm -hmm. pero hindi ko talaga na isap na okay. She's, na she still has. Hindi ko rin naman siya inexpect na sa ako. It, I mean, it was a, it was actually a spur of a moment thing. Mm -hmm. Na nag nagstart lang siya sa friends na parang, uy, tinanggal na yung age limit, baka gusto mong sumali. Mm -hmm. And ako naman, personally, parang nisip ko, bakit nga hindi? I mean, uh -oh. it's a good opportunity. It's and kakatapos ka lang ng super buds no, which is, uh, I mean, also a pageant. So parang ako, why not? So I would, I gave it a chance. Now, ito na yun. <laughs> so how are you? How's how's the experience so far? So far, it's I'm enjoying all the experiences, all the shoots that's happening, all the sponsors visit, and of course, na I'm very proud. I get to represent, but I also get to represent a group, which is the moms nga. Na parang it's not normal in a pageant world na makakapag represent ka ng a solid group of people which is moms and overage women diba on hindsight ba nakakatulong ba yung mom profile mo in this year's pageant because it gives you extra publicity I, I, I feel yes it does i mean especially na march was women's month i got a lot of um, interviews invites because Siyempre, people wanted to highlight being a woman in general and siyempre, plus yung pagiging nanay. I mean, it's not, it's not something that all the candidates can share. Uh -huh. Parang yun yung pwede kong i-share na different from all the other girls. Kaya plus points siya for me. In, in, my, in my opinion. <laughs> oo naman, um, oo naman. Pero ha, for a mom like you, mm -hmm. wow, talagang kami talaga napapalingon talaga. Yeah. Na at your age, you just turned 38. Yes. Belated happy Thank birthday. Thank you. 38 na. Lapit na mag 40. But okay lang. I mean, feeling ko naman na everything starts at 40. Especially like for, ako late bloomer ako eh. I mean, I joined pageant world late na rin. I was 24 when I first joined um, a pageant, uh, which was 2010. So age cut, ano na yun eh, that was the oldest na you can go for that title. So after noon, syempre nag-family na and everything. So parang late bloomer ako in a sense na feeling kong now, now is my time to shine. Now is my time to show people lahat ng natutunan ko from way, way back. Like I'm, majority ka talaga is I'm really older than all the girls mm -hmm. in the competition. Wait, so you joined your first ever national pageant at the age of 24. 24, so, yes. What made you join at that age? Why didn't you join when you were much younger? 24, um, kaya ako sumali ng 24 ako noon. Nag-start rin siya sa Budol. Budol? <laughs> Budol in a sense na kanchawan lang from friends na parang, but di mo itry, you're tall naman, you're, you, I mean, I, do, I did some commercials before, so parang sabi nila, try mo mag-pageant. But as an introvert person, parang it's not who I am. Na ako, masaya lang ako just being, I mean, behind everything else na being in front of the camera or being in front of people is not something that I'm used to. Mm -hmm. So nung 24, yeah, and that was the start of me going out and doing a pageant. Kaya bejo hilaw. I could say na talagang hilaw na hilaw ako when I joined um, the pageant noong 2010. And that's why 
yun din yung first ever pageant ko because my parents are very strict. So parang they wanted me to just focus on studies, graduate lang first talaga before I would go into modeling. So actually, sorry mom and dad, but yung mga ginagawa kong gigs rin for modeling, fashion shows before, puro patago. I mean, my parents didn't know about that. <laughs> Even at age 24, they were still so strict yes. mm -mm. to you? Kasi, I don't know why. Parang feeling ko, as a... Kasi well, only girl ka ba? No, dalawa kami. Pero kasi, feeling ko, like now I'm a mom, syempre yung takot ko na baka hindi makagraduate yung anak ko or baka mapabarkada, baka mabuntis ng maaga, hindi niya matapos yung schooling niya. So feeling ko, now that I'm a mom, baka yun yung iniisip ng parents ko that time na they really sheltered me na after school um, I actually was part of the gymnastics team also here in the Philippines uh -oh. so yun yung naging buhay ko like from grade 1 to grade 7 studies and then gymnastics oh that's why you're this fit yes feeling ko that's why na instilled din sa akin yung discipline eh. discipline uh -huh. to do anything and with everything that I do discipline and with my body especially kasi I was I started at grade 1. Uh -oh. So parang hanggang ngayon, ay, syempre, nadala ko pa rin lahat nung natutunan ko from being a gymnast way, way back. Ooh. So, you were 24 then. So, what life lessons did you learn after joining your first ever national pageant? Hmm. So, totoo lang, nung 24 ako, after the pageant nung 2010, I wanted to join again. Oh. But, my husband, ay, my boyfriend back then, now my husband, proposed to me right away. Uh, you could have said no. <laughs> <laughs> Sana, joke lang. <laughs> no, pero we were boyfriend and girlfriend since I was only 18. So imagine mo, matagal na kami magkasama. And then when he proposed to me, I wanted to do another pageant. Eh. Kaso nga, nasa cut-off na rin ako for the age. So hindi na rin ako eligible for that crown. So it was a do or die thingy for me. Uh -oh. Eh, yun. Eh, hilaw na hilaw pa ako. First ever pageant ko yun, eh. All the others na kasama ko nung batch na yun were all pageant veterans. Uh -oh. So, yan. Ngayon, na-enjoy ko naman siya. I really wanted. So, that's why, when I was, after having a family, tas I heard about the uh, Super Buds competition, pageant, uh, another pageant, uh, I went for that. Tapos, syempre, it was right up my alley, which is fitness, ganyan. And then, now na tinanggal rin na age restrictions for the Miss Universe crown, syempre, who wouldn't want to go for that? But to, fair, but to be fair with you, ha, mm. 2010 up until now, na-maintain mo yung ganyan figure mo. Actually, mas wow. payat nga ata ako dati. Oh, oh. If I could remember correctly, yung timbang ko noon was 100 pounds. Mm. Now, I'm 110. So, mas heavier ako now. Pero ako, feeling ko, personally, mas fit ako in a way na I can eat whatever I want eh. Mm -hmm. Nung panahon before, syempre bata pa ako nun, talagang I would, um, well, what people who join the pageant, most of the people who join the pageant, syempre they starve themselves. Mm -hmm. Na syempre they're uh, maintaining a specific figure na kailangan ganito lang, kakainin, or uh, yung talagang maliliit lang kinakain, or fruits lang. Ngayon na eat anything eh. I mean, like, literally anything. Hindi lang talaga ako nag rise And I work out regularly. Before, nag work out kami, pero not as intense sa ginagawa kong workout ngayon. Wow! Um, well, because maybe also, um, I'm an athlete. I'm an obstacle course racing athlete. So, yun yung mga sumasabit-sabit. I have competed internationally, like, two years ago for uh, the Spartan races. And then, yun. So, that's where I think I got na yung sense of gusto ko ulit mag-compete. Naging competitive rin ako in a way because of that. Ang galing mo naman. I mean, Thank we're you. almost the same age, pero na-maintain mo yung fitness level mo in, do, in more than 10 years na you've been doing this, whether as a mom, mm -hmm. an athlete, never ka talaga tumaba. Hindi yon actually. Uh -oh. Just like to say it also, hindi ako payat-payat ever since. Yes, nung sumali ako ng pageant in 2010, of course, I prepared for that. Pero I was thin, thin. Pero of course, after giving birth, having my two kids, I gained a lot of weight. Uh -huh. ako, when was this? Um, 2012, when I had my first, my son. Uh -huh. And then 2014, when I had my daughter. 
Uh-oh. So those durations up until 2019, before the pandemic, malaki ako noon. Like as I was, in, as in malaki, I think my, my face was really round, chan talaga. That's why before, hindi, wala ako masyadong photos ng malaki because I wasn't confident enough to wear anything. Parang ako, I wanted to just wear big t-shirt and shorts. Kasi nga malaki ako noon eh. Pero may excuse ka naman kasi because you were also feeding your babies. That's what, so, I mean, that's the normal um, mindset of a mom. Mm-mm. Na okay lang, lumaki ako kasi nanay na ako. Mm-mm. I want to change that eh. I mean, ako, I went through that. Lagi ko sinasabi sa mga friends ko actually who are moms now na it's okay to enjoy your um, mommy life, mommyhood, married life. Enjoy. Kasi you're feeding pa your child eh. Pero, don't Uh, I want to also them to put a stop to that. Parang after breastfeeding your child, then you can also focus on yourself. Ako, my, I only started focusing on myself talaga was during the pandemic. That was 2019. Because we weren't doing anything. Because we weren't doing we anything. Were mo- we were rendered immobile. Yes, we were, stuck, we were at house arrest. Eh. So what oh. else could I do noon? So that's the turning point. Well, that was one of the turning points. That's why I wanted to um, uh, lose weight. Mm-hmm. I wasn't doing anything naman talaga. So, at home, I would just, and I would just do it through YouTube videos. Hindi siya like extensive na I would go to the gym. I didn't go to the gym actually up until few years ago lang. But I would start with YouTube videos only, jump rope. Yun lang yun. And then pumayat ako. Nakita ko yung drastic change ko from that. So wait, let me clarify. Mm-hmm. So, you started becoming fit again mm-hmm. for your health reasons. Yes. Uh-oh. The health reason naman behind that was because um, my husband got cancer. So, oh. medyo, it was hard for our family because I had, we had two kids eh. So, my kids were young at that time when he was diagnosed, when he 15 ata siya what, na-diagnosed. What was his cancer diagnosis? Uh, mesopharyngeal. So, What's kung that? saan tayo sinaswab sa nose. How can you get cancer for Actually, that? sa kanya... We didn't know actually na how he got cancer kasi wala sa family niya eh. Uh-oh. But when he found out about his cancer, it was miracle in a way because we only want I only wanted him to go for a check up kasi maingay siya katabi sa bed. Malakas siya humilik. Ah. Kasi we were both big kasi before. Uh-huh. So na-enjoy namin masyadong maging Kumakin. mommy and dad, <laughs> maging mom and dad and raising the kids. So parang Uh, in a way, we let ourselves go. In a way. So, siya, and the, hindi na namin, na, ako, hindi ko na nakaya na ng ingay niyang katabi matulog. So, sabi ko, I think you need to have yourself checked. That was the start na pumunta na siya ng hospital. And then, nung chinek siya ng doktor, nakita na may lump siya dito sa, oh. sa manos. And that was the start of it. And buti na lang, it was stage one when, he, when, we, we, when we caught the cancer. And he was able to undergo all the treatments naman. Pero ano lang naman siya? Uh, radiation. Hindi chemo. Hindi naman siya nag-chemo. So, oh. nawala. So far, cancer-free na siya. So, eh, naka, nam, kuha na niya yung max na, yung graduation. Di ba? When you have cancer, you have six years oh. to, to always do your checkups for that. And after six years, you are declared cancer-free. Oh. So, he is already declared cancer-free. But yun yung naging turning point namin. When he got cancer, na we both have to shift our... Uh, mindset, lifestyle. Mindset, lifestyle, in a way na pati yung kids namin, nagulat rin kami na pati yung kids na damay. In, in a good way, ha? In a good way. Kasi now, my kids are also competing, my, my daughter's competing, inter- uh, my daughter's competing for um, obstacle course racing as well. My mm-hmm. son is doing basketball, swimming. He's a, uh, he does um, swim and bike. So, na-instill nyo yung discipline. Yes. Saka yung pagiging ano niya sa sports. Actually, true yun na in a way, hindi namin kailangan, di ba some parents medyo nahihirapan na ipipilit nila yung anak nila na uy, mag-workout ka naman or stop eating that, ganito gawin mo, ganyan. In, swerte kami in a way dahil hindi na namin sila kailangan ipilit because they see it from us. Uh, uh, uh. So that's also a good thing na nakikita ng mga anak mo yung ginagawa ng parents. Kasi for them, ah, it's part of their normal life. Now they can also do it now without me having to force them or drag them out of bed to work out. Actually, alam mo tama yan eh, come to think of it. You know, madadala nila yan as they get older. True. Yeah. Imagine, pa- how old are they now? My eldest is 12, my youngest is 9. Oh, pa- 
adolescent stage yes. na sila. Papunta na sila sa <laughs> teenage know. years. So, Uh-oh. for sure, mababarkada yan. Um, mm-hmm. rest, for sure, sa awa, sa, I mean, sa awa man, na, naman ng Diyos, huwag naman sana sila magka-develop ng mga vices. Pero if they're yes. really, and if their love for sports is really that strong, mm-hmm. I think they wouldn't turn to vices. Yes. Eventually. Uh, yeah, I hope so. I mean, with the proper guidance naman, feeling oh. ko naman. And basta they stick to the sport na they see us also Uh-oh. doing, I'm sure may instill rin naman sa kanila. Kasi like ako, I was instilled with all the fundamentals of being in a sport at a young age. I mean, I was a gymnast for grade, nung grade 1 ako up to grade 7. So yun, instilled talaga ako with all the disciplines and motivation for being an athlete. Ooh. So ngayon, I'm happy na I get to relive everything again na mommy na ako. Kasi who would have thought Actually, maraming turning moments eh. Na who would have thought I could still compete in a Miss Universe pageant at my age? Yes. Who would have thought na kaya ko pang tumumbling, mag-gymnastics? I did that for... Pande- nung pandemic. Uh-oh. Parang when the... Medyo nag-clear out na yung uh, cases ng COVID. Parang diba, started opening different sports again. I was able to do some um, lessons with gymnastics again. And then, who would have thought na kaya ko rin kumarera internationally at my age, ha? I'm 38. Siguro 36 ako when I started, or 37 when I started competing, uh, representing the Philippines internationally for an obstacle course race. So, syempre, mga kasabayan ko, puro bata. Uh-huh. So, ngayon, parang maraming, that's why I say nga, na parang, life starts later kasi. I mean, it, yes, yeah, you have your life growing up, pero for me, I really believe na, lalo na for me, na, late bloomer ako, ngayon palang nagsa-start yung buhay ko. Ngayon palang ako nagde-develop. So, I'm sure marami rin makaka-relate na feeling na wala na. Pero once ma-hit mo yung on button sa buhay mo, everything will just fold eh. Alam mo, listening to you right now, <laughs> nabubuhayan ako ng loob. Gusto ko sumhanin ng super bots. <laughs> Why not? Edition. Yeah. Why not? So, kaya hindi ka natitinag. Kaya ka ngayon, now that you're here in MUP, mm-hmm. hindi ka ganun ka pressure, uh, hindi ka ganun ka ka pressured, ka, alam mo yun, yung, yung anxiety level mo. Yes. Kasi nga, parang basically, you've been through this kind of situation mm-hmm. with the, the, all the obstacle competitions that you yes, went through uh-huh. before. Mm-mm. So, ina-apply mo lang dito. Mm-mm. And feeling ko kasi, parang I have done a lot already in my 38 years of existence. Parang feeling ko, nagawa ko na lahat ng gusto kong gawin sa buhay. Uh-huh. Na, this is just another thing na was given to me at the right time, at the right place. Uh-huh. Na, if I would be given that opportunity to be able to touch more moms, touch more women, touch more women of age, na it's not too late to start something with your life more pa. Now, if that would be my platform, then so be it. That's going to be the best um, prize already for me. Because, I mean, if I was able to um, start during the pandemic and then through the imagine mo, 2019 diba the start of the pandemic I wasn't really active online socials uh-huh. as in socials was zero and then 2019 syempre people started noticing na pumapayat ka na so I had some friends reaching out already and then some actually um, random people na magme-message lang sa akin na for tips for advices na that's Something na nag-ignite rin sa akin na in a way, ay, nakaka-inspire pala ako ng tao. Especially sa age group ko. Na not everybody naman can, I mean, not everybody has that chance na talagang kayang pumayat. Kasi others talaga mama- mawawala na ng buhay in a way na, ay, okay na ako, nanay na ako eh. Mm. Housewife na lang ako, dito lang ako sa bahay, kakain na lang ako. I mean, that was my mindset before. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you find that fuel or that passion in you na, I, I want to be someone pa. Mm-hmm. I want to I wanna do something pa. Or I, or gusto ko yung katawan ko ni J-Lo. Or oh. I'm at her age, diba? Or Jennifer Aniston. Oh. Kung, kaya ko, kung kaya ko makuha yung katawan niya, why not? Diba? So, syempre, maraming moms, maraming women na kaya pang i-achieve yun. Basta put your mind lang to it. Eh. So, so, I assume yung confidence level mo, 
sobrang nandoon right now. Kumbaga, 90%, 100%. Hindi din. Hindi <laughs> din. <laughs> Total opposite. Like I told you kanina, uh, very introvert akong tao. Uh -oh. So, ngayon pa lang ako actually nagka-come out of my shell. Mm -hmm. Na, I'm just happy rin talaga na baka yung pagiging introvert ko nawawala siya when I get to talk to people na alam kong interested uh -oh. sa how did you really get to where you are right now. Kasi lahat ng batchmates ko, kunyari, from my school or in my general, in my age group, na para how? How did you get into the shape that you are? Or uh -huh. how did you attain that? Parang ang sarap lang ikwento pag alam mong interested sila. And then sometimes people would really message me na thank you for posting your videos na nag work out Kasi kahit sila, kahit ayaw nila mag-workout, nakita nila na kahit 10 minutes lang nag-jump rope ako, uh -oh. napapa-jump rope napapa na rin sila. So that's something na it's nice to hear na at least in a way you're inspiring. Nakaka-inspire ako ng random people na paminsan nasa Mindanao na. I mean they're from another place pa. Uh -huh. They're actually some foreign also na nagbe-message na how ano yung ginagawang routine, what's my meal, ganyan. I always tell them naman it's wala eh. I mean I tried a lot of um, diet plans and what not. Kung ano lang talaga mag-work sa iyo. Yun yung, that's what you're gonna stick to. And I also believe na, ayoko yung, di ba, a lot of people will do diet for the sake of may duration lang. Uh -oh. Kunyari, may kasal akong pupuntahan, magka-crash diet ako. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ako kasi yung diet ko is, I want something na I can sustain pang matagalan. So imagine 2019, ako nag-start. Anong pecha na ngayon? 2024. <laughs> so yun yung goal ko eh. Dapat at least, bago man lang ako mag- reach ng senior, ma-maintain ko pa rin yung katawan ko. Yun yung target ko. Yun yung goal ko for me. Which you hope I will. I hope. Na I people hope. will also resonate yes. with, with what you've been advocating so. for yes. here in Miss Universe Philippines. Uh -huh. So, with everything that you've been through, I wonder, how does a mom like you attack her strategy in a competition like Miss Universe Philippines, especially this year where it started to be Bardagulan mm -hmm. edition? Um... Ako, I'm just playing myself. I mean, I know they're all pageant veterans. I mean, almost all of them ata are all pageant veterans. Ako, I don't consider myself as a pageant veteran dahil technically parang pangalawa ko pa lang to eh. Uh Oo. -oh. So, Pangatlo na, technique, kasi kung century 2 na Pero kasi iba yung definition ng century super bod eh, as a pageant compared sa Binibini or Miss uh -oh. Universe. Eh. Uh -oh. So mas intense talaga yung Binibini and Miss Universe na pageant. So parang ako, intense wise, very. Pero how I prepare myself lang, it's just be me. I mean, parang I want to show up every day, although I'm still trying to get there. Na gusto ko every day I try to build my confidence. Na every time lumalabas kami in a in a in, oh, ano yun? in mga press cons or what not. Gusto ko para every time may nai-improve ako because I know naman ang dami kong kailangan improve comparing myself to the other girls. So how? What do you do that through affirmation, self affirmations? Do you um, think of something that mm -hmm. will you know make you in a good mood mm -hmm. and not probably be disturbed or bothered by anything that you read especially online or what people have to say about you mm, well i do have uh, my core team who help me and who reaffirm me and who try to bring out yung pagkaangas i guess in a way because as a person, hindi talaga ako maanga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, very shy akong tao. Very uh, tahimik. I mean, I am very introvert talaga. Yes. So, parang when people tell me na... I remember, ha, recent lang, yung, in one of my trainings, we were supposed, like, face-to-face -face kami ng, ng, ng another person. Uh -oh. yeah. And then, kailangan sasabihan ko yung person na mas maganda ako sa'yo. Oh. Parang yun yung training na pinapagawa sa akin because they needed or they need to bring something out or that angas or that yabang uh -oh. na dapat when you walk out the stage, syempre yun yung yabang na kaya mong ipakita to everybody. Not verbally, you say it, pero dapat in your head, yun yung sinasabi mo para when you go out and face people, face the press, yun yung nafe-feel ng tao. Totoo yun. Yes. So, I'm working on that. <laughs> Kasi hindi talaga ako ganun. So, nung unang pinagawa sa akin yun, 
Medyo nangingiyak-ngiyak pa ako dahil hindi ko kaya sabihin sa tao yun na mas maganda ako sa iyo. So hindi ako papatigilan magsalita hangga't hindi na feel ng coach ko na minimin ko yung sinasabi ko. So ilang sessions bago mo na <laughs> ilang sessions bago mo na sabi na feel ongoing na ongoing ko pa. <laughs> oh, ongoing pa rin ongoing ba? Ongoing ba? So may two months pa. <laughs> kaya ko ba naman? Yes. Like, oh. Ongoing pa siya. So medyo kinakabahan ako every time yun yung segment of oh. our training kasi nga Hindi ko talaga kaya eh. I mean, is it because of being introvert? Feeling oh, ko. Oh. Or maybe because it's just not my personality. Oh. I mean, genuinely, um, timid lang talaga akong tao eh. I mean, I'm not, I mean, sobrang opposite kami ng husband ko. Husband ko is that kind of person. Mm-hmm. So, ako yung hindi. Siguro kaya rin kami nagtagal ng asawa ko. Kasi opposite. 20 years na rin kami together. Started as boyfriend-girlfriend up to now. So, feeling ko in a way, kaya kami nag-work out. Kasi siya yung ganun. Ako yung hindi. So, I wonder, how does your husband uh, react to this? Like, how does he motivate you? Mm-hmm. Especially when you encounter challenges like that in your trainings for this pageant. Very, in fairness naman sa asawa ko, siya yung number one supporter ko. Uh-oh. Siya yung laging, siya yung nag-push sa akin sumali nung 2010. Uh-oh. Siya rin nag-push sa akin nung Super Buds. Pero with all of that, syempre may pag-aaway. May, may fights na nangyayari, nangyayari because malakas personality ng asawa ko eh. Ako yung hindi. So siya yung lagi ngayon, dapat ganito yung gagawin mo. Ako naman, oo, gagawin ko yun. Parang, gets mo, doon kami nagkukontrahan lagi eh. Kasi nga, malakas personality niya. And syempre, perspective niya as an audience. Oh, oh, oh. So oh. nag-aaway kami na lot in that kind of way lang. But, etong Miss Universe Philippines, ako na yung nagsabi sa kanya na gusto ko. Siya yung may ayaw. Oh. Ayaw because we both signed up last year pa. We both got in the London Marathon. Uh. So, we had our, we already have our slots for the London Marathon this year. And it so happened, it fell under our prelims. Uh-oh. So I had to let go of my slot for the London Marathon. Siya na ngayon yung pupunta ngayon. Mag-isa. Mag-isa. Mm. Mm. Because I, lo- I wanna join talaga Miss Universe. <laughs> Sabi ko sa kanya, ikaw yung may gusto ng binibini before so, and super siya. buds. So wala siya sa finals mo. Prelims lang. London yun ha. So after ng takbo, uwi, uwi siya, siya agad. agad. Ay, ang mahal yung pumasake. <laughs> dapat, dapat bilisan niyang tumakbo para maka-uwi siya agad for, my coron- for the coronation. Yeah. Tumakbo na. Tinagod niya yung niya Alam mo, yun yung crazy part. Nung wala pa yung date namin for the prelims, that was my plan. I would fly to London, kakarera lang ako, Uh-oh. uuwi ako agad. Hindi mo rin magagawa. Kasi hindi ko rin magagawa. Ang activities dito eh. Kaya nga sabi ko, or baka feeling ko, baka pagpunta ko pa lang ng London, antok-antok pa ako, tatakbo pa ako oh, ng 42 oh. kilometers. That's around 5 hours of running. Pwede niya may defer next year. Ah, uh, hindi na. Hindi na, hindi na, hindi na. But that's okay. I mean, there's always another chance for the marathon. That's nice to know. So I wonder, you know, as you, we talk about these things, you know, I wonder, hindi ba naka-affect na, yes, you said, introvert ka. Mm-hmm. Ako kasi, I'm also almost the same age as you. And I can really relate with what you're saying because sometimes talaga, I also have so many doubts about myself mm-hmm. to the point na, I've become so jaded mm-hmm. na parang I, I have been stuck with my own uh, limiting, limiting thoughts mm-hmm. about myself in relation to what I have been doing, especially in my vlog, mm-hmm. in, in this uh, pageant career that I'm also trekking. So, in a way ba, naka-apekto, ganun ka rin ba? Do you think, you know, our age could have, you know, could somehow play a factor in our self-imposing, limiting yeah, Beliefs. feeling ko rin in a way because of age and siguro mga narating na rin natin sa buhay na we're already contented. Oo. We always get to a point na feeling ko tama na. Oh, okay na yan. Okay na. Okay na ako sa buhay ko. Okay na. Parang it's either mag rest na ako or should I go pa for more. Oo. But it's always a matter of perspective rin eh. And your, your goals or your dreams. Parang ako, because of the opportunity that came I mean, came to Miss Universe Philippines. Di ba nga, as may saying nga na opportunity on only knocks once. So, nung dumabas yung opportunity na pwede na mga moms, wala ng age limit, I syempre went for it. Na, it's another opportunity. So, if 
kahit anong edad natin, sabihin natin 60 years old tayo or 50, tapos may opportunity that came your way in any other aspect. Pwede business-wise, kahit hindi ka kunyari negosyante, pero may negosyong lumabas for you, grab it. Uh -huh. Opportunities will always be given to us. Eh. It's up to us na lang if kukunin ba natin or we'll just say thank you. As that opportunity arises, mm -hmm. How do you feel about the thought that, you know, okay, the only reason why mothers, um, contestant, contestants like you mm -hmm. are being allowed to join is because of the inclusion factor or yeah. tokenism? Mm -hmm. mm, ako, I'm just really very happy that they the Miss Universe organization gave us that opportunity, gave us that platform that we can already join. Parang ganito lang yun eh. Para siyang basketball game. Di ba may mga bangko? Mm -mm. So pag pinasok yung bangko, nasa sa bangko na lang na player na yun to prove himself. Like kami, if that's how people see mothers, women, of age na ganun lang, nasa sa amin na yun eh. How we can prove ourselves more to the bigger audience. And of course, it's a big stage. Eh? It's an international stage. So as women, as moms, as my age, it's going. I'm very happy that it was. I was able to open a lot of doors already for my fellow moms, my fellow age, ageless people. Mm -hmm. Na ito palang is the start. Eh? This is the first edition of the removal of age limit. So, kung ngayon palang magagawan ko siya ng way or ng door for the other people to or the other women to see and to be part of it then good alam mo tama ka dyan kasi last year nanood, uh, nag cover ako ng Miss Universe El Salvador I and know. si Miss Colombia mm -hmm. ay isang nanay din yes. nakaabot siya all the way to top five I know diba um, I mean what better opportunity eh for a mom or for the organization actually as well na women naman can really be and can or moms in general play a lot of roles eh. they play lots of hats so an additional hat of being a miss universe representative for their country is something na it's new eh. yes it's new mm -hmm. pero why not accept some i mean some i mean why not accept the change eh? it's a good change in a way na it's being able to reach out to a bigger audience to more women as well, to more people of age. So why not be able to use that platform, especially for me, like I'm a mom, 38 years old. It's the biggest platform I can have to represent all the moms out there or all the ageless women out there. So th yeah. with that, I'm just trying to shift my perspective talaga na Happy na na buksan ni Miss Universe organization yung doors namin as moms. Do you think crowning a Miss a mom for a Miss Universe title holder is like shooting for the stars? If we go back to our argument before, um, maybe it's somehow shooting for the stars. Pero who doesn't want to dream big? Mm -hmm. Who doesn't want to look at another perspective? There are a lot, I mean, a lot of people have represented na, I mean, all the other pageant girls. They're all the same. They all have the same story. Kailan ka magkakaroon ng Miss Universe winner who has another story to tell, who has another um, experience to show, who has another audience to tap? That is true. Yeah. That is true. So, kumbaga sa'yo, it doesn't, uh, your status, your marital status does not define your chances of winning. No. Kumbaga parang you're, you're still being presented an equal playing field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That is... Mas may edge lang talaga because nga of the mom and the age less. I mean, age yeah. factor. Pero yun nga, I mean, like, um, for that use lang, I mean, we have, yun na yung role namin, I feel, eh, as the moms, as the older people na, that's our role. We're supposed to prove to the people, to the pageant fans, to the organization, na kaya rin namin. Since sinasabi mong kaya nyo, so I wonder, let's, let's already visualize that you're already the Miss Universe title holder with, with a husband and two kids with you. 
is, how can you juggle both? Paano? Kunyari, nasa New York ka, doon ang base ang Miss Universe. Tapos, yung anak mo, nag-long distance ko, Mommy, may sakit ako! Ganyan. So, uh -huh. ano, lipa, anong first instinct mo? Lipad? Papulot ng Manila to nurse your sick child? Uh -huh. Oh, they fulfill, still fulfill my obligations. Well, of course. Now, siguro it's also the best time na sumali rin ako sa pageant because my kids are already... At an older age, my, my eldest is 12 years old, my youngest is 9. And I talked to them before joining the pageant, eh, na mommy's gonna be busy for at least a year. I need your support, your total understanding of this. I mean, with kids, I'm a preschool teacher way back. Mm -hmm. So, parang the best um, way to attack kids is to just talk to them like how you talk to normal people. Because they absorb and they know more, eh. If you talk to them properly. So, yun lang naman eh. You just have to talk to them properly, explain what's happening. Pero, of course, my family will always... I mean, I, I'm very lucky I have my husband beside me. I'm also very lucky that I have my two angels. I call them my angels or my ayas, Who have been with my kids... Or who have been with us na for nine years. So, kaya kami nakaka-travel din ng husband ko. Because I know they're in good hands with my ayas. Na kahit anong mangyari, I know na there's another person, another mom figure looking after my kids. But of course naman, I'm always gonna go home to my kids. Eh. Yun yeah. yung nasa, parang asawa lang yun, di ba? Kung lagi kang namang may uuwi ang asawa. So mm -hmm. ganun din naman with my kids. I will always go home to my kids, to my family. Na at the end of a hard day's work, I'm sure that my kids will always be there. True. You know, as much as I want to talk to you longer, <laughs> we've been talking for more than 30 minutes now. And yes. I so love our conversation. It's so freewheeling. Yes, uh, thank you. And I'm going to tell you except there's a, that there's a, uh, a camera in front of us uh -huh. right now. You know, as I end this, you know, and there's no doubt that you, uh, motherhood suits you the best regardless of whatever mm -hmm. you're into, regardless of the fields that you're getting into, the passion, your interest that is making you so alive. Mm -hmm. as a human being yeah. right now so i wonder what is the what is the best thing about being a mom for miss universe the best thing about being a mom for miss universe is i get to share a lot of my life experiences to the girls in general i mean yung mga co-candidates ko actually pwede na nga silang pumasa as mga anak ko eh mm. paminsan natatawa lang ako when they call me mommy or mommy selina uh -huh. or ha ayoko bang ganon uh -huh. <laughs> I mean I mean el, marami akong may impart na life experiences with them so with that parang it gets me more um, more of what I want to know also about the other girls I mean mabilis ako mag-pick up when it comes to that Mm -hmm. Kasi nga, I mean, ang dami namin eh. So, I get to reach out to each and every girl to know their story. So, I'm just happy na yun yung nagagawa ko also for them. Yeah, the wisdom. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. All these challenges that sort of make you a mature and mm -hmm. more confident. Well, for sure, a lot of them are learning a thing or two from you silently. Hopefully, without yes. Without you really, you know. And sanay rin ako talagang mag-alaga. I mean, it's my nature also to like take care since I always take, I've been taking care of kids as a preschool teacher, now as having my own kids. So parang when I'm with them, parang yun yung mindset ko na parang, oh, kumain na ba? Or who wants water? Actually, ako yung pinupuntahan ng ibang candidates. Kunyari, kailangan nila ng mga... Kumot. Uh -oh. Binibigyan mo doon ng kumot sila pag may gang <laughs> nung press presentation. Uh Oo, -oh, kasi yung bag ko, kompleto. Gusto ng pagkain, may pagkain ako. Madami kang dalang kumot noon. Dalawa. Oo. Uh -oh. I know naman kasi malamig eh. And uh -oh. syempre, ako, I have for me. I have an extra one like for whoever needs. So parang, feeling ko maternal instinct na yun eh. Na, of course, kung ako, yun yung mapifeel ko. Mapifeel din ng ibang girls yun. Mm -hmm. So I always have snacks also with me. Na para, parang pag may mga anak ako sa biyahe, pag alam kong magugutom sila, at least pag may hinugot ako sa bag, meron naman sila makakain. So that's what I'm happy the doing for, actually for the, everybody in MUPH. Yun ang legacy mo. I hope so. Whether in MUPH or to the kids that you're teaching. Yes. And I hope you keep continuing that whether on or off stage. So maraming yes. maraming pong salamat Thank again. Thank you. Thank you Ms. for Selena, having me. For 
giving us a dose of your own inspiration, of your own kind here in my interview. For yes. sure, and daming nilang marami sila natutuwa lang just by listening to your story. You know, so I hope you get to inspire more people. Thank you. Yeah, whether here's a pageant or not. And just thank you for yes. being you. Thank you for just being just being like that not being shy for who you have become mm -hmm. what you have been before and yeah. so fearless in sharing your struggles your fears and your aspirations in life so anytime but, thank you so much for having me walang anuman <laughs> salamat Wala. we'll You're see you welcome. more yeah thank you thank you i hope you guys had a great time tuning in with my in my interview with Miss Selena Antonio, Antonio Reyes here. God bless you guys. Until my next interview. Bye.